there was this very bizarre admission from the Pentagon this week of an accounting error that suggested that the US has at least $3 billion that it didn't know it had that it can use for Ukraine aid. That's a hell of an accounting error. And it provides a lot of fodder to critics of US aid to Ukraine and critics who say there's not enough oversight going on. Jake Tapper grilled National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan about the Pentagon's recent claims that an accounting error has freed up at least $3 billion worth of weaponry that could be sent to Ukraine in its war with Russia. Now, let's hear how the so called error allegedly happened in the first place. Are you concerned about this accounting error? Well, one thing I just want to make clear, that is not money that went out the, dis the door and disappeared. That is not a waste of that $3 billion. It is simply a tally of how much military equipment we have given them. And the way that the Pentagon was counting it was, what's the replacement cost for the equipment we provide, rather than just the actual cost of that equipment? Once you make that adjustment, it turns out we have an additional $3 billion that we can spend to provide even more weapons to Ukraine. And at the end of the day, not one penny of US dollars will have gone missing or have been misallocated. It will all be provided in the form of equipment to Ukraine on the battlefield. The Pentagon can account for a ton of money that they've been given by Congress. We'll get to that in just a moment. But to give you an example of what he's referring to in the way things were calculated and why this accounting error happened in the first place. The Wall Street Journal wrote that for example, the Pentagon overstated the cost of replacing the M777 howitzers. It provided to Ukraine by looking at the price tag on the Himmers or Himars mobile missile launcher system, a far more advanced system slated to succeed the older artillery pieces in the US arsenal. Overall, that cost difference resulted in an overcounting of $75 million, a Pentagon official said. Yeah. So um, let me tell you why this is a disaster for the US taxpayers and why it's not at all an accounting error. It's a decision they're making so that they will quadruple the profits of the defense contractors. So how? Very clear, okay? So uh, let me explain it this way. And let's use hypothetical numbers. We know that the 3 billion is the number they're talking about. Let's, uh, but I'm gonna give hypothetical numbers for the rest. So it, originally, in this hypothetical, the Pentagon says, okay, we're gonna get uh, give $6 billion to Ukrainians. What is it paid for, okay? So let's say in this hypothetical that it pays for 100 howitzers. That's um, it, not the actual price, obviously, okay? Well, now when they, they go, oh wait, we were pricing them at what we would need to pay to get those 100 how, howitzers. But what we really should do is price them at the howitzers current value, because we're not giving them the new howitzers, we're giving them the old ones that we had in stock. And those are not worth $6 billion, they're worth only $3 billion. Boom, we saved $3 billion. So now, instead of giving them 100 howitzers, we can give them 200 howitzers. But wait, that is not the replacement price. We're gonna have to pay the replacement price, because we're going to replace them for our stock. Now, when you go to replace them, not only are they $6 billion, the actual original price that they calculated, but now we've given twice as many to the Ukrainians. So now they're gonna have to charge us $12 billion. So it's because we're gonna be buying in that hypothetical 200 howitzers at the new price, not the old price, okay? So that means the defense contractors are not gonna get 3 billion, they're gonna get 12 billion. Oh, thank God. Okay, so that's why they, oh golly gee, we noticed an accounting error that would quadruple our profits. I mean, I mean the defense contractor profits. I mean, we don't care about that. We're just doing this for the Ukrainians. So that's how this game is played. It's also worth noting, just to respond to some of what Sullivan said in that video, that the Pentagon doesn't seem to have the ability to account for much of their funding. In fact, they can't pass a single audit. Literally, they have failed every single audit that has been done. So the Pentagon, which has an annual budget of about $860 billion, 
has long been plagued by accounting errors and has never had a clean department wide audit, most recently failing an external study by multiple firms last year. Mike McCord, um, who serves as the Pentagon's controller, I mean, this admission was so incredible, right? Because he wanted to downplay it. He's the controller for the Pentagon. And he's like, it's not really that big of a deal. Okay, guys, let's just all relax. He says, quote, I would not say that we've flunked. We have very big numbers here at the Department of Defense. So we can have numbers that may look big that are still quite accurate. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. What? <laughs> okay, that, that means yes, we did flunk. But we flunked at such a spectacularly large number that you shouldn't worry about it because it's buried in an even larger number. It's like waste within waste. It's like one of those Russian dolls of waste. So since that overall number is so gigantic, eh, don't worry about it. That's the world's worst explanation. Like they're not even trying. No, no, not. I mean, it's it's laughable because we have no say. So we can insult the American people with a statement like that. And what yeah. power do we have? Yeah. What say do we have, especially when it comes to foreign policy? Yeah, so everything is about concerted media battles, being honest with you guys. So if you're a progressive, what you should do with that, and Ro Khanna and Bernie Sanders, they chip away at it and they talk about defense when they talk about the debt ceiling things. They never win, right? But how would you? even have a fighter's chance of winning. Well, what you would do is you would figure out, okay, how much did the audit say we're missing? So it's gonna be a giant number, 100 billion, 200 billion, but let's take a simple 100 billion, okay, out of the 860. Say, hey, listen, it looks like you guys are wasting 100 billion dollars because you can't even account for it. I mean, that's just beyond outrageous. It's by definition waste if you don't know where it went, right? So we're gonna cut the defense by 100 billion dollars until you can tell us where it's going, okay? And so because we don't, it's one thing to spend it on weapons, it's another thing to just throw it in the garbage, okay? Now they can do a concerted effort on that and just pound away at Republicans. They're throwing 100 billion in the waste, they're ruining the deficit, they're ruining the debt, they're ruining the economy. Where's the 100 billion dollars? You coordinated, you all go on TV at different times, etc. But there's no one planning anything on the progressive side. So they're not gonna do that. The de corporate Democrats, which is like 80, 90% of the party, agree with the Republicans. They all get have the same lobbyists from defense contractors. So they're just gonna laugh at us. They're all gonna laugh at us as they waste hundreds of billions of dollars and go, yeah, I don't know where it went. Yeah, but we wasted so much money, who cares? <laughs> and the press will barely notice and the march will and the band will march on. Now, finally, the United States approved a whopping $113 billion in funding for Ukraine in 2022 alone. There are reports, you know, kind of bragging about how no new money was appropriated recently. So, for instance, fresh funding for Ukraine wasn't included in the Pentagon's budget request for the fiscal year of 2024, which begins October 1st. Department officials and defense contractors had expected funding to come from a separate supplemental request this summer and hinge on the progress of any Ukrainian offensive. Meaning it will not hinge on that at all. There will be more money. There's definitely there, gonna be more yeah, money. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Oh, By the way though, during the debt ceiling negotiations, they'll cut all the money that was going to you guys. Yeah, notice not a single, not one Republican from the House who's currently making a big to do about the government's budget and all oh, the deficit, the debt. Oh my God, we need to cut spending. Not unwilling to cut any spending on defense. Not only that, they're also unwilling to raise tax on the rich by $1. That's their red line, protect the rich at all costs. And yet, what do you see all over mainstream media? Theater. About how the Democrats and Republicans, golly gee, they're they care all they all care so much about the debt and the deficit, except they only want to take it from you and never from the powerful and from the lobbyists. Thanks for watching the Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, Jr. So those are super fun. But you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.